All right, guys. Manchester United have just beaten Aston Villa 2-1 to go level on points with Liverpool at the top of the table, although they are second due to goal difference. Um, I, I thought that uh, United... They, they, I, I thought United played well, played well tonight. They, they, I'd say they just about deserved the win. Um, there, there were some very good individual performances from players such as Rashford, Martial and Paul Pogba I thought played well tonight uh, like he's doing his annual I'll have six games where I play well and then I'll sack it off for the rest of the year <laughs> uh, there'll be, there's no doubt that Paul Pogba will be hyped up from now on as the greatest midfielder to ever exist uh, but he did play well tonight, to be fair to him. So the game started off with a, a volley from John McGinn. It was close. It nearly went in. Nearly. And then out of nowhere, wan has just running down the right-hand side of Man United. It doesn't look like much of a threat. Matt Target is just, like, just jogging back and, like, tracking him. The, there's only one player in the box, Anthony Martial, and he's got Esri Konsa on one side of him and Tyrone and Mings in front of him. So it doesn't look like he's going to get there, but the cross went in, Martial heads it. And I, I don't really know what Martinez was doing. Like He, he seemed to dive the wrong way so that the ball was going, but Ma Martinez uh, more than made up for it um, later on in the game. He made some fantastic saves, including one where... Uh, Bruno Fernandes is on, is on the edge of the box. He hits it with a lot of top spin to the offside of the goal. And Martinez just about managed to tip it onto the bar. Uh, it was a very good save. And anyway, into the second half, wan had a shocker. So, uh, what... Uh, Aston Villa had just been given a free kick in a not very dangerous position. It was about 40 yards away from the goal and fairly central. And wan is standing over the ball. If you're a fullback, you're not the player who should be standing over the ball. The players who should be standing over the ball to pause a free kick or to slow, slow it down, make sure it's not taken quickly, are the centre midfielders, the wingers... And possibly the strikers. You do not put your full and tell your full backs to do that. And regardless, Wambasaka should have known better. So I'm not going to completely blame all of that on Ollie. Um, but and so the first time, first time he blocks it, what he should have done then is ran back into position to stop the ball being sprayed out right to Jack Grealish. But in fact, what he does then is uh, he tries to block it again and it goes past him and he's out of position and he's jogging back and Jack Jack Grealish uh, then went on to cross it into the box El Ghazi sort of dummied it and it went through to Bertrand Traore and he had a fairly simple finish uh, and then moments later uh, Paul Pogba's on the left hand side with the ball for Man United uh, he's dribbled it past um, Douglas Luiz and Douglas Louise is, uh, they're both sort of holding each other's shoulders. Neither is really fouling the other. But Paul Pogba, he definitely didn't dive in fairness to him. But like, he sort of trips himself up, so he kicks the back of his own leg. And yeah, I can see why he did fall over. And he he, he looks a bit embarrassed when he did, went down. He, he, I don't think Keith was going to claim that it was a penalty. And... Um, but the referee gave it and VAR didn't overturn it, so it was given as a penalty. And Bruno Fernandes has kept up his fantastic record of 15 out of 16 penalties scored. If we're going for percentages, that is roughly 94% of the penalties he's taken have been scored, which is very good. Uh, and then towards the end... Uh, Tyrone Mings had a very good chance uh, for Aston Villa. In fact, there were a few. There were a few good players who had a few good chances for Aston Villa players. Um, Ollie Watkins had one where he just headed it wide, and there was one where he tried to head it across back at the keeper. 
better, but the De Gea managed to just about get enough on it. Uh, Mings had the best chance, though. He uh, just headed it wide, and he, it was a bit like Firmino's, that, Firmino's chance last night, for not last night, the night before last night for Newcastle, um, where he, he had almost half a goal to Bayman, and he just put it wide. Um, and the final chance, well, it wasn't even a chance, but um, Matt, Matt Cash uh, for Aston Villa had a shot from about 30 yards. It would have been a screamer had it gone in, but De Gea, who, De Gea, um, who people who've people have said he's not in form recently, he had he actually had a pretty good game tonight. That when he couldn't do anything about the goal, but he he did what he needed to do. And anyway, Cash, Cash's shot went was going into the bottom corner. It was a nice height for De Gea, but he still managed to tip it round the post. And that finished the game, really. Uh, finished 2-1 to United. And, yeah, I, I didn't think either team played particularly badly. It was a slow, slow early 30 minutes, but the game got good as it went on. There was something like 40 attempts in the whole game. It was like there was a shot every two minutes. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.